Armstrong to the end zone. High catch and a tremendous grab by Wicks in the end zone for six. Wes Bryant here with Virginia football coach Tony Elliott, year one in your regime in Charlottesville. Coach, what are the objectives? What can we expect from the Cavaliers? First and foremost, it's just a team that plays with a tremendous amount of effort. And hopefully my objective is that you see the passion and the love that these guys have for each other, the love they have for the game. Uh, just a team, you know, guys that are, that are, that are playing for each other. Uh, not really worried about the outcome on the scoreboard yet. Uh, we still got a lot of work uh, this, uh, this offseason to become a team, but just the core values and the fundamentals that we try to instill this spring, which is, which is being uh, hardworking, uh, giving great effort, uh, being accountable, having respect for the game, and then, then having the mental and physical toughness uh, to be the best versions of themselves. Hollins and Tala pop of the backfield. Armstrong wants to air it out again. Going to throw that one long. He has a receiver in the end zone. A spectacular diving catch. And that's Wicks in the end zone for six. And now we're coming into the summer. We still got a little bit of time to go before we get to fall camp. So what's the summer going to be like in Charlottesville? So the summer is huge because that's really when the team comes together. And, and as we uh, talk about the season, we talk about building a house. So right now, this is the construction phase. The foundation phase was up until the summer, and now in the summer, the guys are gonna build the house as we go into the showcase phase, uh, phase for the season. And hopefully, you know, we build a good enough house to, during, the, uh, during the off season and show it off well during the season and get invited into that championship subdivision. Tala Papa and Simpson in the backfield. Armstrong, seven step drop, wide open man, touchdown. Now talking about a house, foundational aspect. You came from the mansion in Clemson that you guys <laughs> built up. So with Virginia, what were some of those foundational things that you're gonna bring over from Clemson that you feel like are vital to the success of this program? You know, what I learned first and foremost is that every team has to build their own house. Uh, and it's the same thing uh, when we're at Clemson. Every team has its own identity. And so uh, just uh, trying to get the guys to first, uh, first and foremost understand that this is Virginia football. This is not Clemson 2.0. Want to make it unique to Virginia. That was the first thing. Obviously, a lot of people were focusing on where I was coming from. Uh, but it's two different, two different environments. There are some similarities when you talk about the, uh, the location of the campus in reference to the city. It's a, it's a true college town. There's a lot of of just a passion and love for the, for the institution. But for us, uh, the biggest thing from a foundation standpoint is, is what I just said, just the effort, uh, the toughness, uh, the unselfishness, just the little things uh, that separate the good from the great. And if we can get those things right, then over time we'll be able to, uh, to improve the talent level. And if you can combine uh, those foundational things with improved talent, then I think you have a chance to be successful long term.